made by top freelancers on Fiverr is destroying the internet. Destroying the internet? Or could it just be destroying your business? So what if there's a really simple way to get the Google Business Profile ranking again? Maybe if it's being suspended to get it back reinstated. If you've got some bad reviews, can you get them removed? These are common questions that most of you are asking and business owners are desperate to find answers to those problems. And of course, Fiverr is a place where all those solutions seem to be freely available. So could all these Fiverr sellers or gigs, could they really present a solution? Have they really got a quick fix? 50,000 links for £4.20. In fact, that's under a Fiverr and that's where the name Fiverr comes from. It's just going to be really cheap. You've got 90,000 citations where you can get these kind of crop circle patterns, but in effect, they're pins in a map that are going to then give you links locally. What a boost that must give, surely. You've also got a quick Google reinstatements. There's claims where they can claim your business for you, then verify and optimize it for you. How about this, where you can get reviews and ratings uh, you can just get as many as you want, as many as you can shake a stick at. And also someone here pretending to be, what? Zanet Design for £84.10. Well, that's a bargain. Uh, and this, and this, and even this. And, and even the great Stuart Gould, or AKA Abdul Hamid Jibon. So uh, how he's changed in recent times. So the fact is, is there's so many people offering great services for such a small price. But is it too good to be true? Is Google the real McCoy? Is it the real solution that you've been looking for? Should I advise my clients to go to Fiverr if they want their suspended profiles uh, reinstated? And I want to get to the bottom of how they go about this. Uh, would Google approve of what they're doing? So here's one of the conversations I had where in effect, the nitty gritty of it, uh, when I boiled it down to how he could get my suspended businesses reinstated, it was the proof was down to the fact that, well, he had a mate who worked at Google apparently. So really doesn't sound quite what I was expecting to hear. If Google can't reinstate it for me above board, then I've then got to go through the back door, the hole in the fence, as it were, to get them a reinstated profile. But is that going to last long? Especially if Google cracks down or if that person uh, gets found out, all those accounts then will be suspended again. Now at this point, I just wanna say that I'm not picking on anyone on Fiverr, they have to earn a living. And some of them do some really great work as well. So not all can be tarred with the same brush. But what I am trying to do is protect you from doing the wrong thing. As you'll see later in this video, it can have a devastating effect on your business if you get this wrong. And as you know, I say on this channel that slow and steady wins the race. I know that Google rewards people that are prepared to put in a little bit of extra work, and that's what this channel's been about and is continuing to benefit businesses. If you look at the comments, you'll see many businesses are successfully now optimized by following the process on this channel. Where is slow and steady wins the race? There's always another proverb that goes the opposite way, which is says, uh, strike while the iron's hot. So some would just say, get in there quickly, get it reinstated. So let's go a bit deeper now and see exactly what it is that they offer and why it can be damaging. So here, GMB expert claims that he can add 75,000 pins for £4.20 and uh, that my business will rank higher. Uh, he says it will build trust. Well, I'm not too sure on that because would trust be built on manipulating someone to put 40 or 75,000 pins in a map? Does that make my business any better for that? Well, you can judge for yourself. But if you dig a bit deeper, you'll see that the outcome is, is that Google uh, may not be able to detect it yet. And that's his claim. If you see what he puts there, that when I really boiled it down with him in his conversation, he just said that Google can't detect what he's doing. But here's where it really gets interesting because actually, even if Google can't detect it now, they may detect it in the future, but the pins themselves actually don't give you any ranking benefit at all. So you're taking a risk and you don't even get any benefits straight away. And I can say this because Darren Shaw did exactly that. What he did is he had an account where he purchased pins 
And according to his video, I saw no impact on rankings. I've given it like three months, nothing. So uh, I ordered it on December 8th. I didn't really do anything. So Shaw Electrical is a listing for testing purposes and nothing else happened. So, so there you have it. I've basically saved you 50 bucks on Fiverr. So ranking doesn't actually benefit from these pins, these citations. So you pay five pounds or you pay 50 pounds and you get all these links, but actually not only do they make no difference to ranking, but if they're citations or if they're links, they can also do even more damage than that. And that's where this investigation goes on another level. But while I'm here in Fiverr, I just notice what a great logo and design this person has. I think you may be familiar if you've, uh, being subscribed to my channel for some time, you'll see that's an older video thumbnail that I've used. In fact, let me compliment them on the awesome graphics that they've got there and their logo. And uh, just say that, uh, well, they say that no publicity is bad publicity. So obviously I'm being seen by others too. So let's leave that uh, message for Rapid Man and see uh, what he comes back with. And a few moments later in the email, he comes back, hi there, thank you for the compliment. So uh, he seems to be uh, enjoying my thumbnails. Anyway, as you can see, the general feeling is, is, and this is what I'm getting from all the contacts I'm now making and discussing in Fiverr, is most are just saying that they have a friend and support that can give them the reinstatement. So in effect, you're risking your business with someone who really has no investment in your business and can just then drop your business straight away if it suddenly gets suspended. But all this is even more negative if it now damages your business. And that's what I then found out. And looking a bit deeper into it, I can see that it does harm your business. Why and how does that work? We well, need to understand this bit, this is really important. So here is Bob, a Google quality rater. And for those unaware, Google hired Bob along with many thousands of individuals around the world and their aim is to rate websites, to rate businesses, to look at Google business listings and profiles, and to record whether or not that business and that brand, whether or not it performs in various ways and in a variety of areas. And they have guidelines, a thick guidelines that they use. We often refer to the acronym for this as EEAT. EEAT stands for expertise, experience, authoritiveness, and trustworthiness. And these are human elements that are used by Bob and others to decide on whether or not this business is trustworthy. So what do they find if they see a business that's been using some of the tricks that we've looked at on Fiverr? Those using links and citations on Fiverr soon realize that actually doing so, in effect, you're just putting spammy links and spammy citations onto your website. And Bob can detect that, as can often the spam filters as they continue to increase their ability to check this. And those links then hurt your business. And unless you get rid of them, they're going to continue to hurt your business. So Bob will see them. He'll easily determine that they're purchased or they're spammy links. And then he will physically penalize your site. And you may never recover from that. And that's not the end of it. Because then bear in mind also, Google also is aware of how long people spend on your website. So if you've got 10,000 links and people that come along those links to your website are not interested in your business whatsoever because they've come from just a non-relevant website, something nothing to do with your business, but they're just going to come through to the website and then click back off it. And that's known as bounce rate. So if your bounce rate goes up and up and up, it's telling Google, it's signaling to Google, no one's interested in your business. No one wants your products. And so that will continue to downgrade your authority in Google. So Bob will see this. He will black mark your business. He will say it's got little experience, little expertise because no one hangs around. It's not authoritative because the links don't seem to be relevant to what you're doing. And do I trust it? Probably not. So although I really despise the way Google handles problems on genuine businesses, and I've been there myself, and I really don't like the way that you can be suspended when you've done nothing wrong, and that Google give no clues whatsoever to help genuine businesses, and I really want this to change. On the other side of the coin, Google is trying to fight spammers and stop these link farms and these false citations making businesses rank 
that don't deserve to rank. And I think that's unfair on the genuine businesses that do deserve to rank. So what can we do about it? And what should we be doing about it? Well, we need to understand Bob and his eating issues. And if you want to know more about that, then this video will explain exactly what he's looking for. I'll see you on that video.